Today I'm going to demonstrate a technique to achieve a realistic change of eye colour. I'm going to do this from brown eyes to blue eyes and also going to show you on a, uh, a picture of somebody with blue eyes um, going back to brown eyes. Um, so uh, what we've got here is we've got a picture of a girl here with brown eyes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select the brown areas of her eyes. So what I'm going to do is um, hold down control space um, to bring up my uh, zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on her eyes a little bit further. Okay, hold down space to click and drag to shift that around a bit. Now I'm going to click and hold the marquee tool and choose the elliptical marquee tool. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure the feather radius is at about three pixels. This will mean that the edge of the uh, selection is a little bit blurred so that we can uh, cater for the fact that the uh, edge of the selection won't be perfectly clear. We also want to make sure anti-alias is on because if we do this then we make sure that uh, that's a little bit smooth, that selection is a little bit smoother again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, zoom in on her left eye. So here we go. Now what I want to do first is just select roughly her uh, eye area. Now I could do that by clicking and selecting from the left. Um, which works pretty well in this case. I can then uh, click and drag the selection. Now I've got that. The next thing I want to do is select her other pupil. So uh, uh, note that this uh, tutorial makes the assumption that you have a basic understanding of the selection tools. So if you don't, just have a look through graphicsdistrict.com and uh, take a look at uh, some of the selections tutorials to give yourself a bit of a background on that. So now I'm going to hold down Shift. This will add to the selection. And I'm going to click and drag to grab the uh, iris portion of her other eye. Now I've missed a part just up at the top here, so I'm just going to continue holding shift so I can add to the selection a little bit more. And down here just a touch, because we've got the feather on the uh, edges uh, blend together quite nicely. Oops, that's not right. Okay, so we've got roughly her eye area selected that we want to change. So the next step is to go up to the image menu and from there choose adjustments and from there we want to choose uh, selective color. Now selective color lets you operate on the individual color values uh, within the selected area. Uh, so in this case, because she's got brown eyes and blue eyes are generally a little bit lighter in color, what we want to do is go down, choose the blacks. Um, as you notice in this menu there are various different colors to choose from. Uh, if we choose the blacks that means that um, our adjustments are going to operate on the areas of the image that have uh, blacks in them, so within the selection. So I'm going to choose that. Now notice if I do that it's grabbing her pupil area, so that's actually not what we want to select. What we should do is grab the neutral areas, which are going to be the areas in between. So I'll just do that. Neutrals. As you can see, as I pull the slider up or down, it darkens the iris area because within the selection, those uh, colored areas in the iris are the more neutral areas. So I'm adjusting that down to about minus 20%. And that's about right. Uh, let's go and choose the blacks. Just uh, just so we can fix up the pupils and make sure they stay nice and dark. Now you'll notice the, the whole iris areas um, of her eyes are now somewhat lighter, but they don't yet look uh, un unrealistic as some of the uh, some of the basic methods that you might know uh, would ha um, cause to happen. So now that we've got this, her eyes are still brown, but then now they're a little bit lighter. So I'm going to click OK. Now we use from the image menu and then adjustments and then hue and saturation. Now all I have to do is adjust the hue. The hue is uh, which particular main color value we're pointing out to her over in, in uh, the blue area. Now, as you know, um, I have never met anybody with eyes quite that blue. So in order to achieve a slightly more realistic uh, color, um, I'm going to pull the saturation down a little bit. This will shift it closer to black and white, but I'm going to do that all the way to about that area. Is probably what have I got there? About minus 60. Now I'll click OK. Now I'm going to deselect. I can do that from the select menu. I just press Control D most of the time. And there we go. Notice her eyes are now a realistic blue. So there you go. Okay, so we're switching over to the other image now. I'll just minimize this one. 
And this is a girl who's got clearly natural blue eyes. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a bit on that. As you can see, her eyes are very clearly blue. So what you'll notice is because of the fact they're blue, that means they're somewhat lighter than a person with brown eyes would have. So what we need to do first is darken up those eyes uh, without making it look unrealistic. So the first thing to do, of course, is to select those areas, just like we did with the first image. Move that around. Add to my selection as I go by holding down the Shift key. Remembering, of course, that we've still got that feather radius of three pixels and anti-alias selected. Now I'll just do the other eye. Notice, of course, that uh, I'm not letting that particular selection disappear. I'm just adding to the selection. And that's about right. Great, so we've got those selected. Now, the next thing we want to do is just like with the first image, we want to play with selective color. Remember that's in the image menu under adjustments. So I'm going to choose that now. Now with this particular image, what we would probably want to do is we'll have a, a quick go at the neutrals. So I'm going to choose neutrals from that menu and I'm going to muck about with that. Here we go. That's working well already. Now what we want to do also is we probably want to have a bit of a play with the blacks. Because what you want to do is when you play with these uh, colors, uh, using selective color, you want to make sure that you adju adjust several areas because what happens is um, otherwise you move the colors too closely together and uh, it can start to look a little bit unrealistic. So it's good to try and adjust several of the different shades uh, across the board. Just say they move uh, in contrast with each other. So I've done that now. Now another thing I'm going to do just for a bit of a quick adjustment is I'm going to play with the uh, brightness and contrast. Now as you can see, they're both set to zero at the moment, so I'm going to pull the brightness down just a touch, and let's see what we can do with the contrast. I'm going to pull the contrast up just a little bit, because as we've been pulling things down, those reflected areas in our eyes have started to darken up a bit, and as you know, reflections generally aren't dark, so that contrast will help bring that out again. That should, that should be about right. Okay, and then uh, finally, from adjustments again, I'm going to play with hue saturation just like I did in the last one. I'm going to shift that over to a brown area. Now just like with the first one, because we've uh, uh, shifted that over to a color that it wasn't originally, it looks a little bit too bright and colorful. So what I'll do, just like uh, before, is I'll pull the saturation down until it looks more realistic. So I think probably about that area looks about fine. Now. I'm going to deselect and zoom out. And there we go. She has brown eyes and it looks pretty realistic.